Hall of Heroes had a lot in store for us. From a more in-depth look at the new Batman and Wonder Woman movies, to widely unexpected reveals from Rocksteady and Zack Snyder. Here is everything you need to know about DC's fandom in 3 minutes. DC fandom started off with a bang as it showcased a new trailer for the upcoming sequel to 2017's Wonder Woman. The sequel, called Wonder Woman 1984, had a trailer which included a full reveal of one of the franchise's most iconic villains, Cheetah, in her complete humanoid cheetah look. Diana of the Mascara will make her momentous return on the big screen on October 2nd, 2020. DC also showcased an animated teaser for the Black Adam movie. Along with a few concept art, Black Adam, a known anti-hero in the DC universe, will be played by none other than Dwayne The Rock Johnson. No more information was given about the new film. We expect more to be revealed on the next day of the event in the first week of September. After a week full of brain-tickling riddles from WB Studios Montreal, we also get a reveal trailer of Gotham Knights. The game presumably picks off after the events of Arkham Knight, after Batman dies. You get to play as the Bat Family. This includes Nightwing, Red Hood, Batgirl, and Robin, and all of them will be available as playable characters. Around the end of its duration, the trailer also teases Court of Owls being involved, who, for all of you who don't know, are a secretive group of organized criminals residing since the colonial times of Gotham City. Gotham Knights is also scheduled for a 2021 release on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Windows PC, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, and will be playable solo or in co-op. On other delightful news, DC officially confirmed that the Flash movie will be based on the critically acclaimed Flashpoint storyline and will feature crossovers. Official concept arts give us a first look at actor Ezra Miller's new Flash suit. Moreover, Ben Affleck is returning to reprise his role as the Caped Crusader one more time after dishing the role back in 2017. We were also treated with a beautiful first look at Gunn's The Suicide Squad movie, which also featured several character introductions. Apart from returning roles of the stars of the previous and first installment, the cast also includes Idris Elba as Bloodsport and John Cena as Peacemaker, among others. As if WB Studio Montreal's Batman game reveal wasn't enough, the widely left Rocksteady Studios, alongside DC, have a new game coming called Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice League. The first look trailer showcases Harley Quinn, Captain Boomerang, Deadshot, and King Shark's excellent humor and hilarious chemistry while they are getting ready to confront an immoral, murderous, and bloodthirsty Superman as he burns a soldier to ashes in cold blood. So, figure out who we're killing yet? Oh, fuck. The game is scheduled for 2022 on PlayStation 5, Windows PC, and Xbox Series X. After years of protest, support of the whole cast, and even a fan-made petition, Zack Snyder's Justice League is finally happening. The Snyder Cut will be a much darker and scarier version of the movie, and it has been confirmed that this version of the story will be divided into four long episodes. The new cut, which features Darkseid, a much more menacing Steppenwolf, and a dark-sided evil Superman, among a whole lot of new scenes, might be DC's only chance to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Marvel's Avengers. DC wasn't the one to shy away from going all out. It also dropped the trailer for the Batman movie and the internet has broken loose. Fans are hyped to see Robert Pattinson's Batman and the trailer gives a whole lot to look forward to. As it has already been revealed, the story will take heavy inspirations from the long Halloween comic. Matt Reeves' Batman hasn't been in the crime fighting business for long and is already swarmed by a score of enemies, including the Riddler, which is set to be played by the genius Paul Dano. A prequel series is also in development for HBO Max. DC has teased us an awful lot last Saturday, but they're still brewing up some amazing surprises for the second day of the fandom event, dubbed Explore the Multiverse, which will go live on 12 September. We can't wait to see what they have in store for us, so make sure you like our page and follow our content to stay updated on the latest DC news. Stay in the loop with Cablegram.